I don't know if it was a bear. In South Africa, they call this a sundowner. Since it's raining today, I thought I would leave a day early from the Oregon meetup before heading over to Wyoming and see the coast and maybe the Redwood Forest. So I thought that I would take you along with me. It's going to be a little confusing because I think those videos where I'm asking people questions are going to air before this one, but it won't really matter because all I want is for you to spend the day with me. So let's go. So it says the tall tree trailhead is six and a half miles away in the Redwood National Forest. It's about a mile and a quarter to the tall trees. And it's a moderate trail, so not too bad. You might hear my water sloshing around. Ooh, look at these. But they say it's about, oh, 30 to 45 minutes because of the terrain, but it's well worth it to be standing among the oldest trees in the world. So, that's where we're going. I think we're gonna climb through one. It's a little sloshy through here. Good thing I have my turbo athletes. Perfect for this type of hike, actually. How fun is this? I didn't bring my long, longer stick, so you're on the squishy tripod. Beautiful. One note is that you need a permit to get into this, the Tall Trees Trail, and you can get it online, but you have to do it a day in advance. And I didn't know that, and I came here, and there was a couple that thankfully were right ahead of me and just said, oh, here's the code and let me in. So you, you, it requires a code to get in and out of this area by permit only. So I'm only here because somebody was nice enough to let me in. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Sorry, I have to keep going up so that you just can see the immense nature of these. So, what does this say? Tall Trees Loop. Redwood Creek Trail. Hmm. Let me see. They went this way, so I'll follow. And that's what I, I do when I don't have somebody to, that is hiking with me. I usually try to just wait for a group or a couple people that are going. And I obviously I give them their privacy and let them do their thing, but it's nice we'll catch up with each other now and again on the trail but that's the way to do it when you're alone and just wait for a group usually people are pretty nice about that or they don't even really need to know you just keep your distance and know that there are people within shouting distance in case anything goes wrong <laughs> uh, but they've been nice and i've been able to take some pictures for them and they've done that for me too so it's nice I know, but this guy... that's the family 
They're sweet. Do you want me to take it? Oh, sure. Oh, that's so cute. You can't really tell how big this is, but it's huge. Two big bears could probably fit in there. It's like a little home. I tried to get the video to work with um, a light, but it's crazy. It's just so huge. It could be a house. I would live in it. I just took a picture of a family of four who were standing in it. This is another one, and I'm sure that, yeah, these are great places for bears. <sighs> it's so amazing. Just go on forever. walking through a tree right now. I feel like I'm in land of the lost or something. The tree's just too big to be normal. Thank goodness. Uh, it's just enormous. You can't even get perspective on how big it is. There's people. And there's a bench to commemorate making it to the grove. It smells wonderful down here too, I don't know why. I am standing among the tallest, oldest trees in the world. This is how I look compared to them. The lighting is starting to get really good. Well worth the trek if you get all the way here. There was a couple that didn't want to do it because they had a two-year-old. I feel bad for them because I think they would have been able to do it. Just a little side note. If you are following somebody on the trail, you might want to ask if they are going back. Uh, the family that I was following decided to stay down there and everybody else had been heading up the trail. <laughs> and so I ended up coming back by myself, which wouldn't have been so bad except that I had heard a very strange noise. I don't know if it was a bear or a, a mountain lion. I don't even know. But it was weird enough to make the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. And it was close because in the redwood forest, it's so dense that you cannot hear sound. It doesn't travel very much. So I know that whatever I heard wasn't that far off. So it freaked me out a little bit, 
But then I learned that they were going to be staying down by the river. So then I just had to hightail it back to my car all alone as it was getting a little bit darker. And that was not fun because I was already a little bit on edge because of the noise. And so I ran uphill about a mile and a half all the way. So I am sweaty. I am going to change clothes and I am going to uh, bathe a little bit and change into something else because I am sweaty and it's getting cold out. That's the advantage of having a van is that I can bathe and change clothes and not be all sweaty uh, for the whole drive back to the coast. I do want to get back to the coast so that I can see the sunset. So I will do that. I just wanted to say that while it's fresh in my head because yeah, you do, you want to make sure that whoever you're following is going to be coming back with you. Yeah, that would have been nice to know. So I was not totally off. I literally just saw a bear. It came down the hill and crossed the road right in front of me. And I tried to get footage of it. And this, my camera was on the dash and I was scr scrambling around and it, it fell. So I didn't get the footage that I wanted. But I will show you what kind of a bear I saw. And... Uh, so yeah, I'm wondering if that's what I heard. It's a little freaky to think of. get some lighting in here but I don't want to open the door because it's really windy I'm right by the Pacific Ocean in the California side I came down from Oregon I went to the Redwood Forest today had a great hike was able to get in without a permit uh, <laughs> and just hike down to the redwoods and stand among those huge trees they're beautiful and now I get to watch the sunset right by the beach and it has been a perfect day and this will be a perfect ending to a perfect day so i'm showing you this inside because once i get outside it's going to be windy but i'm just going to have a antioxidant mix of nuts and cheese these are kettle organic potato chips sour cream and onion I've got my avocado and then some triscuits and da, 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 delightfully crisp Sauvignon Blanc with a twist cap as I watch the sunset tonight. In South Africa, they call this a sundowner. Coming to watch the sunset. I don't think you're gonna be able to see much more. But isn't it great? I can't stay here the night. There's a rest area 19 minutes away, so I'm gonna stay here just for a little bit. I think that we can stay until 10 p.m. or something and it's I think it's only 9 something. I don't know when the sun sets me. That way I'm drinking wine so I don't want to drive when I've been drinking at all so I will just sit here until I feel like I'm okay to drive 19 minutes away at a rest area that is safe. 
and I will spend the night there. But it is, it's been awesome. Great day, perfect day. So I hope that you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.